Here's a cool question for you. If you're inside of an elevator and that elevator begins to fall from a multi-story building, ah, you're falling. Can you, at the moment of impact with the ground, can you jump off the bottom of the elevator and spare your life and have no injury by jumping right before the elevator hits the ground? Well, the answer to this is unless you're absolutely superhuman, no, you're not going to be able to avoid injury or death and falling from a very tall elevator. And here's the main reason why. When you're falling inside of an elevator, the elevator is falling at so many meters per second and it's accelerating the whole time. You are inside of the elevator and you are also falling down at exactly the same rate as the elevator because gravity is affecting you both. So when you're inside the elevator, you are basically in free fall and for all practical purposes, you are going to feel weightless inside of that elevator while it's falling. So problem number one that you're going to have is you're going to have a hard time jumping anyway because if you're in free fall in the center of the elevator literally floating like an astronaut you won't have your feet planted on the ground ready to spring up and actually jump it's going to be very hard to effectuate a jump like that when you're floating in the middle of the elevator so what will actually happen is the bottom of the elevator will hit the ground and then you will then fall down inside the elevator and splat against the bottom now let's say you were prepared for this you strapped your feet to the bottom you're weightless but you're attached to the bottom, you're ready to spring up and jump. All right, you're still not gonna have a good day because your muscles only have so much energy and even the strongest human can only jump a tiny fraction of the velocity as compared to the velocity of that elevator coming down. If you're in a multi-story building, everything's accelerating at almost 10 meters per second squared. And so that means you and the elevator are going to be traveling at tens of meters per second upon impact. So the only way to actually avoid injury is if you could jump up with the same velocity as the elevator is falling down at the moment of impact. And there is no way that human muscles can generate that kind of energy to jump. Even the world athlete, triathlete, Olympian would never be able to jump high enough, fast enough to counteract the downward velocity to be able to then gently set back down on the ground at zero meters per second. It's just not possible. All of that combined with you not knowing exactly when to jump because you can't see outside basically means unfortunately you're going to hit the ground. But modern elevators have numerous safety systems to clamp the elevator and slow it down so that this never happens. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.